G'day guys, Mark here, Mudra Bowl Electrical and DCO Fitouts. I'm going to go through with you the installation of the wiring harness kit for the 300 for the dual battery system. So I'm going to take you through, let's start at the DC DC because that's where you mount the unit at the front, you feed the wiring to the back. So let's cut through to here and I'll show you from up the front. Alright, so we start by mounting up the DC DC. It mounts on the Red Arc 300 specific bracket, so it all mounts in place here. I've got the torch here to make it nice and bright here. It all mounts into place, mounting to where the horn is. The horn goes back in, back the front to install that. And then it mounts off a lower point and a couple other bolts there that are already in the body. The harness loops through, comes up onto this existing harness, cable ties along that harness. We do have our solar stuff there. We'll get to that later. And it will pop through this plastic trim. This plastic trim can manipulate out to the side, pass the harness through, comes in through here, through the actual uh, radiator support in behind the headlight. Now the earth mounts directly, use a screwdriver to point, the earth mounts directly to that bolt there. So that's where the main earth for the unit mounts to. And the rest of it will continue on up and underneath the actual air intake, flowing along and coming up onto the middies. Now, we also have the blue wire, which comes along through here, and it comes up through the inside. You can see I've actually got it running up through there in with the harness. I'll cut to a little shot there, showing you how to do that. All right, so there's two little tabs. Little flat blade screwdriver is perfect for it. Just one on each side of where this plate goes on, and that will release that whole part of the fuse box. Then just inside here, another little couple of tabs on either side, one there. You can see it's starting to separate there. One on the opposing side, you can just sneak him down side there. That'll separate that. That allows you to run the cable up in between that. Once you've run that in between there, you can just snap it back together, slide that back in, and that's how you install the cable into the fuse box. And then it actually plugs into that third from the left as you're looking from the front. It's a seven and a half amp fuse. You take that fuse out, you replace the fuse tap with that, that gives you your ignition source and provides you with the fuse for what's original. That's the cover, which then can then go back over that. So you can actually clip that earth cover back on when it's done. Obviously, I haven't got this cable tied in here. We're just showing everyone how it lays in. It, you can cable tie off to a point there. You can put a couple of cable ties down along the front here to tie it in, make it all nice and neat. Now, up here you'll notice we've got two different heat shrink colours. Now, the reason for that is, is we've got auxiliary battery circuit and we've got main battery circuit and they're right next to each other. So it's easy to identify. And the reason we've gone with brown and red is red being main, brown being auxiliary battery, just as Red Arc does it with their BCDCs. So you've got your main power cable, which loops up, comes onto the actual stud here. And then you've got your auxiliary floating onto the auxiliary battery there. Up the back here, we link the earth. We turn the earth and it just loops up nicely with the other earth cable and comes onto the back there. Now this one does have the two optional fuses as well. And we've put these to the main battery. So we've got your um, midi fuses there, which are feeding through onto the main battery. And same thing with the blade fuses, they are going back through to the battery now obviously when you complete this you would cable tie this and group it all together nice and neat and this is a good idea because we can have for, for the guys that are towing caravans we can run power circuits out of here for fridge and charging we can run off here we can run spotlights uhf all that sort of stuff we do also have a remote fuse box kit which is mounted in the back so six way up the back to put all your accessories from feet up there and that's what this extra wire is here feeding off this midi fuse. So it's protected through this midi fuse, the main feed to the fuse box. And then it has six way fuses up the back to power whatever accessories you want to power up there. That basically covers the install. It is very simple and straightforward. Um, there's not really much more to it. You'll get all the, all the fusing and all the bits and pieces in your kit. When you jump on the line and look on the website, you've got the options to add in the different fuses that you want to want to add so look us up on the net or give us a call and we can get you sorted delivered Australia wide thank you